My first trip was in China in 73. The Cultural Revolution was not finished. It was very difficult for foreigners to have a visa. And I was part of a, a presidential uh, accredited uh, press. And it was fascinating for me because during nearly uh, five days, I have seen many meetings, uh, dinners, private visits, you know, with Chiang Lai and Pompidou. And I was behind my camera, you know, taking pictures. I'm a French citizen, but I was born in Africa, in, in Morocco. I came back again in the 80s in Siswen, also shooting photographs in Shanghai. So you can imagine at that time, when I was traveling in Sichuan, you know, small villages, I turned myself, maybe two or 300 people following me to look what I was doing because we had never seen a foreigner. Uh, at that time, is the, there was no traffic, everything by bicycle. Everybody dressed the same, uh, blue or gray. You never see a, a couple in the street, hand by hand. If you, I was taking pictures of wedding, for example, weddings in the Nanjing Road. The equipment was quite uh, old, and also I saw some uh, address, places where women can have their hair fixed, you know, with incredible equipment, you know, with electric wire, everything. Today, these images, it look like uh, something incredible, you know. At 16, I, I, I learned how to, to fly with light uh, plane. And I wanted to, to travel and, and to go abroad. I thought at that time to be a pilot, and then I changed my mind and shift to photography. Because photography is a marvelous excuse to meet people, to discover other civilization. This is in the early 60s, long time ago. Then I start to, as a young photographer, beside my study, to photograph the Italian. And the idea was to capture the spirit of a nation by photographing all kind of aspects of uh, day life in, in Italy. Then with that body of work, I joined uh, Magnum in the middle, uh, mid 60s. We were very few photographers, so it was a small family. I was in Europe in 68. I was uh, 25, a young student at that time. You know that May 68, there was many students making demonstrations around the world, but especially in Paris. The students want the society to change, to be more liberal. And this riots and demonstration goes for weeks and weeks. Mostly pictures of students fighting against the police. Some images become uh, symbolic, iconic images. I catch uh, one student who was on a traffic light, you know. The student, you know, was raising his feet like that. And you have this huge shroud and the statue of uh, Bastille, which is like the Statue of Liberty for the French. I, I try to cover ma major events, and this is in the tradition of Magnum. But I'm not a war photographer, you know, that's not my uh, specialty. When you do uh, war photography, you are co confronted you see horrible things, dead bodies, uh, terrible uh, images. You could become a bit cynical, you know, you lose your sensibility. So I try to keep distance toward these things. When I joined Magnum in the 60s, very large majority of photographers, they had not much interest or respect for color. I 
spent my first 12 years in Morocco. Morocco is a country where there is a beautiful light, interesting texture and color. So indeed for me, I will never have the idea to photograph Morocco in black and white because its color is so strong. Every one or two years, I go back to Morocco to develop my uh, personal vision. More than 30 years going back and forth I was in charge of Magnum International in the 19. This year is my uh, 50 years officially in, uh, in uh, Magnum. Uh, so it has been a very, very long time. Today, you know, it's, it's not, there's nothing complicated to, to, to take pictures because everybody is shooting pictures. Everybody has an iPhone or whatsoever, you know. It was still uh, very interesting. Now, uh, the time has changed. A lot of magazines disappear. It was the golden time of photojournalism. Now it's finished. It does not exist anymore.